You know, we bathe our son, you know, with, with water, the tap water. We take baths with the tap water. And with all the chemicals and all the, the, the stuff that's in that water, I can only imagine, you know, what could potentially happen to my son. The water issue that I found in Watts was happening in Beverly Hills. I'm sure there would have been a much different response to trying to really hop on top of it and getting things clean. And um, I know that in areas where there are high populations of black and brown children, um, parents who have to work, who are you know unable to really you know be as active in the schools as they might like to be, if nobody is notifying the parents or the children that these issues exist, then who's going to be the person that advocates on behalf of these people? has come out of a tap. Yeah. So can you just tell me where, where these samples have come from? Yeah, the lady that gave that to me, um, gave it to me. She, I didn't know her. She came up to me in a neighborhood council meeting and heard the, about the work we were doing and just asked if I wanted, you know, to see a sample. And I said, yeah, and she pulled it out of her purse like that. It's been in the bottle ever since. She was drinking from those pipes. What she would do is run the water every morning for an hour, uh, which was costing her a fortune, I suppose. 100% of the residents in Jordan Downs, of the people surveyed, uh, participants in the survey, said they had to buy water. They had to buy outside drinking water because they did not have access to clean drinking water. Either because they didn't trust it, because they the water was brown or murky. So almost all the respondents, almost universally, said they had to buy water. I was coming out of my classroom door and there were two girls walking into our area and I worked in a part of the school where um, a lot of students didn't really come because it was a specialized program and um, so the girls came through and they were going to drink the water and I just like screamed like no don't drink that water like I'll give you water from my water machine you know because I had a you know we have like sparklers or something on tap it's like I'll give you water just don't drink that like that water fountain is not even supposed to be on and they were like well what's happening miss and then it dawned on me like the kids go to school here, they don't even know that they shouldn't be drinking the water. When you turn on the tap and the water's cloudy, and especially when you think of these areas are low income, where they have to, now they have to stop their day, go buy water from somewhere else. They don't even, you know, they're low income, not, they don't have money for to be purchasing water. And also the time it takes, that whole activity of stopping what you're doing to go across the street, down the street, to go buy water and then bringing back multiple five five gallon bottles of water. It's it's a it's a very strenuous task and it's not right. And it's just like when you look at the location of those water fountains, some of them were near like the football fields and you just you know kind of your brain starts to go like the athletes, the students that come in from you know from outside areas in the weekends to play on our fields who are drinking this water. You know, it's just like it's a very frightening issue to think that, you know, with all the other things happening in schools, that kids also might have to worry about the water that they're drinking and not even really realize it. Well, what prompted our interest in filing this bill was learning that over a million Californians do not have access to safe, clean, affordable drinking water. Uh, I was actually quite shocked. Here in California, We've just learned 300 communities without access to clean, safe drinking water. Um, as a special education teacher, when you really think about your students' disabilities and the impact that their disabilities has on them, the origins of their disability, how it can be treated, you know, it's scary to think that something that's supposed to replenish them and make them healthy, water could possibly exacerbate some of the conditions that they have, you know, it's just kind of a, a scary thought when you think about it.